Well, morning, we're back in town. My first errand, running to the bank. On a dreary morning. And we got this piece of crap in front of me. Oh, yeah. Really not too cold. Uh, last week got down to six degrees here. And apparently my pipes froze and all that, but uh, didn't have any water leaks, which is great. So, yep, now we're back in town, getting back in the swing of things. Uh, trying to get warm. Oh, man. I had to get around this turtle of a car. Wow. Okay. Alright. Let's roll, people. And of course, you gotta get in the fast lane. You're not even going fast. Piece of crap. I got things. So, yeah. I have a whole lot to do, just the bank. And I don't think I'll be doing a lot of driving around today. It was a rough trip back. I don't think I went into full detail there. Uh, when we got to Atlanta, of course, you probably see my frustration from uh, trying to get through rescreening or rechecking our bags and rescreening and all that. Well, yeah, the people there were just taking their time and, of course, you know, talking to you like you're in preschool and, you know, to go through security. And for some reason, the scanner was re needed to rescan me three times. I don't know why. You know, I mean, we just got off a plane. And we're screened in Mexico City, but apparently that wasn't uh, enough. You know, I guess, like I said, I haven't done a changeover maybe since 2008, so I really forgot the process. And yeah, so after that, you know, we basically had to catch that train and wind up going, oh crap, well, from E to A to catch our plane to Charlotte, and we had like 10 minutes to spare. So, needless to say, I was uh, none too pleased about that. And, uh, so, once we finally, you know, of course my wife doesn't move fast anyways, but once we finally cleared security, then we had to race, you know, from the train and then catch our gate. And we literally had 10 minutes to spare, and they are wanting us to check in our bags and... Um, you know, all our carry-ons. So, like, you know, I can check in two, but the one that I had with my laptop and I supposed to have some glass and other stuff in there, well, I was, you know, very, very hesitant for that to even go anywhere away from me. And so I carried it on both times, despite them wanting to put a, a check bag thing on there, which is, again, what happened to one of the bags in Mexico City they made us check it on and then it got lost in Atlanta and which is why we had to get we got delayed so yeah it was really a fiasco I'll tell you a little bit more once I get done with the bank here all right deposits done I guess I got the same lady who wants to carry on a conversation is there anything else I can do for you well I'm in the drive-thru um, I'm only making a deposit I mean am I gonna get like uh, some other services or something while uh, I'm in I'm waiting in line, I mean, I don't know. Anyway, let's head back, tell you more. I uh, ain't waited the signal, but yeah, so needless to say, once we got on the plane, you know, of course we got in Charlotte and discovered that the Panthers lost. Look, my new shirt, Ice Up Sun, that was a pretty cool shirt that I'd ordered right before we headed to Mexico and it didn't arrive till middle of December. And uh, yeah, then the Panthers lose. And from what I could tell, it sounded like second half they just kind of gave up I don't know I mean at least that's what I'm hearing and 
Oh look, a fancy Hummer. Isn't that purdy? So, yeah. I was already aggravated. I heard about the game, getting off the plane, and then dealing with Atlanta's recheck-in and rescreening and all that crap. And yeah, I was none too pleased. All right. So, yeah, now we're back home. We made it. And yeah, again, we had to wait for one of our bags that uh, arrived on the flight after we arrived. So it was like almost 10 o'clock when we got out of the airport. So needless to say, I just was not in the mood to finish the video till I got home. Uh, apologize for that, but you know, like I said, it was a rough trip and um, yeah, um, you know, like I said, I'm just glad to be home. Yeah, but now we're back to reality and got to get back to making some money so we can head back in June. But, uh, yep, yeah, for the next five and a half months, I'll figure out something to record, so bear with me. And, you know, things are going to kind of change from vacation mode to random video mode. So, um, yeah, I don't have the, the kids to help make a video and again that was a bit of a change I'm sure you noticed you know like sorry she's kind of gone on doing her own thing she's a full-time teacher now and don't see her much anymore even during the holidays I didn't see her much so um, yeah I don't know I guess the kids are growing up and going on doing their own thing so I'm just kind of winging it and did a lot of travel in this trip which I hope you enjoyed that was something I really didn't get a a chance to do a whole bunch other than Acapulco but yeah we went from Tasco to the capital of Chipancingo again trying to get my immigration stuff done which yet again we couldn't finish um, not to mention Acapulco again and then Mexico City which we've been talking about finally we got there and uh, yeah so there's some a lot of footage from Mexico City and the Aztec pyramids so hope you enjoyed that I know there's a lot a lot of video I'm just throwing it up in the last couple of days so yeah it's uh, yeah, a lot of like I said I just put it together as quick as I could and now that I got faster internet I basically shot it up as much as possible or shot it all up so as quick as I could but anyway I'm about home so enough rambling I'm gonna head on to the house get warm and uh, yeah, like I said, we'll uh, find something to record. So, in the meantime, hope you enjoyed the videos of Mexico and uh, stay tuned for more. So, thanks again for watching.